Hello guys and hello girls, welcome back to the channel, my name is Timmy and in this episode I would like to talk to you guys about this so-called class B heroes, yeah, and I'm putting all the heroes we have up to this point in December 2022. Um, this is important to have, this is important to understand that a hero is not quite as good as the other, uh, because they do all the work, the heroes, and this is very important. Um, that being said, first of all, um, I'm making also this video because I was asked by somebody to evaluate Cromwell, and it's very important for me when I make these videos. I don't want to make a video in which I tell you, okay, take this, this hero, that's it, subscribe, share, that's it. No, I want to tell you, okay, take this hero, and then I want to say, okay, let's, let's look at the result, let's see where are the arguments for my, uh, for my uh, recommendations? So that being said, we have to set some things straight first, yeah? So you truly understand the whole picture. That being said, I'm gonna show you some fresh stats of mine. These are really no buffs at all. So why I'm gonna show you these stats is crystal clear. You can see here my navy. You can pause the video and actually look a bit deeper. And you can see my... Um, Airplanes is again no buffs at all, no paint, no nothing. Um, so these are my planes, and these are my tanks. So why I'm showing you these stats? If you and the majority of you guys are underneath these stats, your stats are lower than this, then it's an even bigger reason for you to um, try to understand my point of view and do it as I recommend you to do, that, will, that is the best way. So that's first of all why I'm showing you my stats. Another crucial point here is to understand how the combat system works. This is extremely crucial. You must set the best hero setup and then pray that you get high procs as soon as possible. That's very, very important. So now let's have a look at Miss Cromwell. Now, again, this is the same discussion. If you already have her, that's good. Yeah, if you don't have her, don't hurry. This is a patience game. So, uh, first of all, if you invest in this hero and you get it to five stars and a level five exclusive, first of all, right off the bat, off the bat, this hero, when it comes down to the PvE content, I mean, we're talking about the Sand Table, uh, Druid, Wall Boss, um, this is unusable. Yeah, you're gonna get very bad results. It only works when you go to um, play Alliance Defense, yeah, or if you play Individual Defense, this is where you're gonna get um, to actually use her 100%. Now, um, this is a Rage Hero. This is not a standard Rage Hero, to put it like this. So she's pretty okay, but, yeah, but, my opinion about Cromwell is, with this hero used as the third hero, having, of course, Megaton and Optimus Prime set already, so this used as a, th a third hero, um, where you're gonna win against another player? You're probably gonna win, more certainly, against a lower stat player. So if you, you win against a low stat player, yeah, that's not quite justifying... Um, Building her up to, to five stars and, and getting her level five skill. Now, when it comes down to her skill, um, she is a good design, yeah? She is not a hero like Enrius, for example, in which uh, I need that level seven skill, yeah? Because of that attack debuff. Otherwise, it, my setup will not gonna work. So, Arius is, from my point of view, it's a bad design. Yeah, it's a bad hero. No clue if they're gonna rework it, uh, re it or not. Probably not. So, um, but this hero, um, her biggest damage is actually the splash damage. And the reason I call her a B-class hero is it's gonna take a while till you actually gonna get the splash. And the splash is not only important to get it, it's even more important on which slot you should get her, the splash. Ideal is to be uh, to be cast in the middle and of course to kill those units in the middle slot, it is slot number five, so you can get this splash damage all the way around on all nine slots. So from 
this point of view, yeah, this hero is for me a B-class hero because of the pure the splash damage will not gonna help you that much. So, and if you go back in this video where you saw those two guys, yeah, this is the most important thing to understand is the combat system. You must hit as hard as possible, as quick as possible, yeah? This is a rage hero, she builds rage, she's gonna hit, she's probably gonna hit good, but that's not my point. I want a hero which hits very hard and as soon as possible, yeah? And that's why um, you can go back on all these videos on these channels and you can uh, see my recommendation. If you have her, okay, you see her, I have her, but it's only at, at uh, four stars. Uh, if you don't have her, please wait, yeah? That being said, I hope um, this extra information uh, helps you guys to understand the game even better. Because if you understand the game better, it helps you a lot to choose what heroes and saves you a lot of fragments and money and, and time and whatever. That being said, have a great day and yeah, don't forget to share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Bye guys.